for battle. Punch with quelling blade. What the fuck is that build? Okay, that's off lane. Seconds and counting. Off lane Magnus, I guess. <clears throat> oh, is he mid? There's no way he's mid for these items. This punishment. Jesus, I did not want to charge that far. Oopsie. Get boots.
Ah, I don't want to leave uh, banner creep going first. There's too much gold. Oh, bun seller boy, coming for your buns. Oh, look at that pig pull. Actually, a cult is really strong too, but I think pig pull is crazy. Fuck! Almost stole it. Almost, almost. Chilling here and keep doing what I do. Um, this hoodwink is fine. Take the uh, bounty rune down here and we gank. He's chasing. He's not catching though. This 
today primal only for 24 hours? No. No, it is not. It is primal for this game. This game, I won't pick any other hero than primal. No, I do not like primal as much as you may suggest by that comment. Fuck. Get level six from that. Don't even need to click ulti. Just go. and gink. Don't even need ulti. Balanced hero. Yeah, this hero is stupid, dude. Stole it from me. But Jinvis. Is it a stupid as Pango? Well, Pango is fucking weak as shit right now. Well, I'm not weak as shit, but like definitely not anywhere close to as strong as uh, Primal is. So yeah, way, way stupider than Pango is. I mean, Pango got nerfed, Primal didn't. <laughs> That's the easy part there. Get scared on the tower, do we give a single fuck? Yeah, a little bit, we're happy. They gave us blink dagger, that's very nice. Free initiation. anime no I didn't it's on Netflix right yeah I saw it uh, pop up on the on the recommended though have so much damage this patch yeah primal is like one of the biggest offenders i feel and that like absurdly tanky hero and his damage output is wild he does like a thousand damage with trample before he has any items all he needs is face boots i 
That's not really okay in my opinion. Like, look at that. I didn't even look at him really. He was kind of off screen. Doesn't matter. We don't need to pay attention that much. Just can't charge in W. He'll die. Used to be a hero there. And for some reason, you can just spam your ulti to farm as well. It one-shots creep waves. The best part is, I haven't used my blade mill a single time this game, I think. So the only item that I purchased, I haven't needed at all. <laughs> it should say a lot about how fucking broken this hero is. Like, sure, there's a passive component to blade mill, but... But something is probably wrong when you don't need to use your item at all. While running around being 7, 0, and 4. What's that? You wanted to farm? Sorry, do you have a heart and a blade mill? No, you're not welcome here in the cool kids club. And one below 3000 HP at minute 18 is expelled, I'm afraid. <laughs> Primal highly contested TI. Extremely so, yes. care about uh, dispelling here. Let's go Kaya. More damage. Same items every game is a bit boring though. Blade Metal Heart Peak me. Oh, trust me, I'm not arguing that Primal is a fun hero. I won't make that case. 
I think he's strong as shit. I think he's absurdly overpowered, but I will not make the case that I think he's very exciting. But it is what it is, man. Morning, why are you random this guy? Morning, dude. No, I picked this guy. Stop it, Tony. Let me charge. I'm not even trying to kill him, I'm just being annoying. Hey, Pelto Porch. Yes, please. You want a drink? The best part is my super broken spell that kills everyone and does a million damage. Useless for Rubik to steal. Trample doesn't do anything for Rubik. It's just a shit spell. Oh, you stole Trample. Oh, no. Please don't. Please, sir. Cooldown is low as well. Low is an understatement. It's 32 seconds on level 2 and it gets lower on level 3. <clears throat> it's uh, probably the most spammable, most spammable creep clearing and hero killing ulti that you will find. Imagine a tiny frame Rubik weighing 40 kilos trying to trample a 200 kilo primal beast. <laughs> trample him with his tiny little feetsies. Smoked. I am a hero. I am a hero. You're a trusty mate. RP used. Hey, I took a little dive, but I'm back. Full HP. That was 
the wrong one. Oh, you went for him? Huh? Okay, he gone. Okay, cool. Yeah. I guess we have a PA as well. She's been uh, farming away quite a bit during the space that we learned. She's kind of strong too. Only 1.1 meters points? That's, that's so few points. He has no RP. He still fucking blink strike instead of my pulverize. Questionable, but sure. For an entire war instead full health. Yeah. Never really dropped. Always was, man. Always was. Mystic stacking. Yeah, it's just funny to accidentally steal from PA instead of the Primal Beast, considering, you know, if we stand next to literally any hero. Like, look at me standing next to Hoodwink. You, you, you can't really see the hero. <laughs> Holy shit. No. Let me go. This here is fucking stupid. I think PL is done. Also I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. There, there are so many things they could do for Primal, I feel. A good start would be to give mana cost to this fucking ability. Why this is third skill, not cost any mana. Oops. I don't have my item here. Um, uh, that's, in my opinion, a good place to start, at least. But that alone wouldn't be enough because Primal Beast goes 4 4 0 build. <laughs> it costs no mana, but it's still not even worth a fucking value point. Because it's better to just get everything else maxed out. <laughs> Jesus. is feeding that's some kidnapping 
They do have fantastic heroes for moving someone to their base. Fucking Rubik, make this tiny punch. I just got fucking combo, dude. The strongest hero in the game. The non-hero. The only thing that can counter us was the non-hero. Yeah, they're missing a tusk. I agree. Non-hero, huh? What? That was illusion? Come here, Peel. Stop looking at me. That's unlucky, dude. No, stop. I don't want to go there. Fuck, I lost all my mana. You would like item recommendations. <laughs> Alright, let's go together with our PA and murder shit, I think. <laughs> what did you expect? <clears throat> Was I surprised by Team Spirit's run? Nope. Not really. I mean, they've been looking fantastic throughout the year. They won the Riyadh Masters, uh, which was the mini, you know, not mini TI, it was the mega TI to this year's mini TI. Um, and they absolutely fucking destroyed everyone in the group stage. So it didn't look like they were gonna struggle, and they didn't. I mean, they, they had an amazing run, but I think surprised is the the wrong thing to say. I wouldn't say that. It wasn't really unexpected. The middle tower is under attack. Battered but unbroken. Will one side come to regret this? Alright, let's go top and end, boys. Dropping only two games is crazy to me. Run. It's fine. I mean, it's crazy, I guess, in a way, but... 
I don't think I'm what he was looking for. She's dead. <laughs> He's 5x. Oh, she had Aegis. Maybe I should have stuck around with her. But I'm just getting this and we're going here. Oops, I trampled the tree. seen much from from the, the I hadn't seen much from the pro scene uh, so that was probably a big part of my surprise yeah I mean Team Spirit played amazing they they were super strong but they have been very strong throughout the year as well uh, especially towards the like uh, later stage of the year because earlier they were a little bit shaky but I think it was more that they were shaky because they didn't take everything serious enough, to be honest. Like, they, they would play DPC and they would lose games to, like, uh, uh, the lowest rated team in the DPC. And it's like, what, what's going on? You know, why, why, are they, why are they dropping a single game against this team? Um, and it wasn't that the other team played absurdly well. It was just, like, Team Spirit didn't look good. Um, but I think it's just, you know, when... when when you're that uh, strong, maybe don't care so much about uh, some teams. It's hard to motivate.